Hi everyone, my name is Madeline. I want to tell you a story about my butt, which was going to enter the Guinness Book of Records as the largest butt in the world. Interesting, isn't it? Considering it was as flat as a piece of paper. Want to know how I made it that way? A little ahead of time. I will say that it was not due to training or diet. It was a little easier because I'm lazy. Life as a teenager is hard, especially hard for girls, and also especially if you don't have a booty or boobs. In my case, I just had a combo of flatness. The only things that stuck out were my ears and nose. Of course, I had an appearance complex. I wanted to look prettier, more spectacular, to be noticed, but it was otherwise. And you know, I really tried to exercise. I bought training programs, I was eating, I was struggling, but for two years, there was no effect at all. It was frustrating. In the end, I got used to buying the smallest size pants and sewing them on all sides. And then I noticed an ad at a bus stop not far from home. It said, I enlarge any part of my body with the help of a conspiracy. That was exactly what I needed. Of course, this service cost $1,000. It was a lot of money, but I had half of it saved up over a year, and the ad said that the other half was for after the results. Without thinking twice, I decided to go to this fortune teller. I came to the place, entered a strange dark room where there were a lot of candles, and it was so quiet. I know why you came. A voice came out of nowhere. Ah! I yelled. What do you want to enlarge, child? M my butt. You don't have enough going on in your life? What do you mean? Oh, it's just adult life. So you want a bigger booty? Yeah, cause I got this. I twirled around in front of her and she looked at me with an appraising glance and was like, yeah, there's a lot to work with. Or rather, nothing to work with. <laughs> um, and you crack on all your clients? Almost. I had a guy <gasps> once who wanted to get something bigger too. Wow, did you really help him? Yes, I'm a pro. And then what? Then what? He won a contest. He took first place, by the way. Are there such contests? Yes, they're held everywhere. I don't like bodybuilders, but they all come to me to get their biceps enlarged. Oh, you mean biceps? Yes, what did you think I meant? Nothing, let's get back to my ass. The fortune teller stood to her full height, then told me to turn my back to her. She whispered something, lit a fire, and then slapped three times and said, That's it. In three days, there will be an effect. Come, give me the rest of the money, and I'll do the rest of the spell, she said. I got dizzy on the way home and just passed out into a deep sleep for 14 hours at home. But when I woke up, I noticed that I was starting to bulge. Yay! It worked! I yelled. I got really excited, but that wasn't all. The second day, my butt got even bigger. And then another and another day passed. After a week, my pants didn't fit. I bought new ones, but even those didn't fit after a couple of weeks. My classmates started asking a lot of questions about what I was doing to get this. But I just said that I had found my way and was not ready to share it. The girls looked at me with undisguised envy. The boys drooled, and everyone wanted to pinch me and touch me. People on the street were paying me close attention because I had such a gorgeous butt. I was jealous of myself. By the way, I decided not to go back to the fortune teller. I saw no point. I was already fine as it was. I just got high on it, and that was it. A few boys asked me out on a date. The rumors spread quickly through the school and our neighborhood. And the only thing my parents asked me was if I was pumping Botox, and if not, they asked just not to overdo it. But is there a limit to perfection? After a month, I already felt that it became difficult for me to walk, lie down, and there was a big load on my legs. My butt began to weigh like a sack of potatoes, and because of this, there was a big load on my back. I really started to notice some pains that I'd never had before. I stood in front of the mirror and noticed that I didn't fit in the mirror. Hmm, it didn't seem like that before, I thought to myself but I didn't pay much attention. Then I went down to dinner with my family and realized it was too much after the chair under me broke. Jeez, honey, are you okay? I think so. 
daughter, I get it. Rocking a butt is good. But we warned you about the consequences, and I'm afraid a broken chair is just the beginning. Honey, don't pressure her. Let her decide. As long as there are no drugs involved. What are you talking about? It's my butt. I'll do what I want. Thanks for dinner. I went back to my room offended, but I knew there was some truth to it. My butt was growing by the day and by the week, and I no longer wanted to have such a huge one. It felt like it was living apart from me by itself now, like it had its own brain. All I had to do was buy pants in my size, which I didn't have time to do. For this reason, I wore skirts more often. Also, I got terrible stretch marks on my skin. My legs swelled up, and I started to walk slower and heavier. Then one day, someone came up to me on the street and took a picture of me and my butt, and these pictures quickly spread on the internet. Everyone was just talking about my butt. How did I achieve such a result? I did not want to tell the truth. It was an easy way and not quite right. I was afraid that I would be judged, so I blamed it on my workouts. After a couple of days, I got a call that they wanted to put my ass in the Guinness Book of Records. This was great news because then I would be even more famous, and in addition, I would be paid a huge sum of money. I decided to wait for that moment, but it was like my butt went crazy. It started growing even faster. If before it was growing fast, then slowly. Now it started speeding up again. And the day came when I could not get out of bed. It also broke from under me. I already knew that this was over the limit. I mean, out of bounds. So, I told my mom about it. Of course, at first, I had to listen to a bunch of stuff. And then she somehow loaded me into our pickup truck and drove me like a cow to the address I specified. But once we got there, the doors were closed. She's a quack! How could you even go to her? Mom, I don't have time for this right now. My ass is about to explode, and then I'll have to be stitched up in pieces. So let's go find her. It was hard to do because I didn't know anything about her. But thanks to my popularity, a lot of people had written about me. And among the comments under one of my posts, I noticed the comment of the guy with biceps. He wrote that he didn't go a second time either, and his biceps just exploded. It turned out that this woman was injecting some kind of proprietary injection, thus doing experiments on volunteers for good money. But human beings are such cunning creatures who want to outsmart everyone around them, and it turns out that they can't outsmart themselves. That guy and I saved the money for the second shot, which was supposed to stop the effect, but we thought, actually, let's try to outsmart her, and that's how it worked out. So. Here it is. Among the comments, I found her photo and address of the lab where she worked. We went there, and it turned out to be a simple laboratory for tests, and this woman worked there as a janitor. She had invented her own drug to enlarge any part of the body. It was her hobby, and she was making money from it. That drug, of course, wasn't officially registered. It didn't go through clinical trials or testing. And who knows? Would I even be alive if I hadn't found it? My mother screamed so loudly that the residents of the neighboring town could hear. So the woman gave me the shot, but said that since we did it too late, the effect would not be gone altogether. Even though I was sorry, I didn't want to die, so I agreed. Anyway, now I'm without a butt again, but I'm alive and kind of healthy. My mother promised to go to the police for such services. The woman begged for mercy, saying that she had small children and needed to feed them somehow. I felt sorry for her, especially since I applied voluntarily. Mom was still angry for a long time, but I persuaded her not to write a police report and leave her the money. After all, the effect was there, and what happened next is purely my merit. In general, I did not get into the Guinness Book of World Records. I'm flat-bottomed again. Even if I don't have a butt, or rather, it's just super flat, it is my own. Have you ever pumped your butt? Hi everyone, I'm Amber. There are a lot of rumors about me at school, and they are not the most pleasant for me. And all because I have the biggest butt. Do you think this is a good thing? Then listen to my story and you will draw your own conclusions. Do not forget to write your opinion in the comments, like the video, and subscribe to the channel.
Life at school is not easy. There are criteria by which you are evaluated. It's easier for guys. You're either a popular athlete or a quiet loser. But for girls, it's much more complicated. We are judged by character, appearance, even connections. There's a girl in my class. She's the principal's daughter. Everyone avoids her, constantly thinking before talking to her. Yes, maybe they're afraid of her, or they respect her, or they just don't want her to report everything to daddy. Sometimes I envy her because she has a quiet, measured life. I'd like one too, but that's not what I have. You'd be surprised if I told you that I'm popular too, but I'm not one of the four local rich people. Nature has given me something very big. The fact is that since birth, I have had a big butt. You will say that there are problems much worse than this, considering that now many girls work out to try to achieve this, I would like to get rid of it. In general, it all started in childhood. My mother could not find any clothes that fit me, because I stupidly couldn't fit into any pants. They got stuck on my buttocks. My mother had to buy pants several sizes larger, sew them at the waist, and shorten the length. She said it was funny, but it wasn't funny to me at all. For this reason, I wore skirts and dresses that there were no problems. I'm not even talking about the underwear that my mother bought for me as a teenager, but sometimes even the skirts didn't save me. My butt bulged out like a sail. I felt like a sheep, which is what they called me at school. The older I got, the more rumors were spread about me. Everyone stared at my butt, turned around to look at me. At those moments, I wanted to sink into the ground. When I was 13, I found a way to deal with the stress. I started eating. I ate everything I could find in the refrigerator at home, ate at school, and ate on the way to school. I especially wanted to eat in public when I was the center of attention. In general, after two years, I became even bigger. And all because the calories I ate went exactly where I didn't want them to go. At the age of 15, the school chairs were so small for me that two chairs were placed for me as an exception. It was so humiliating, but I couldn't just sit on one. My classmates took photos surreptitiously, distributed them, and discussed them in loud whispers. All I wanted was to be left alone. And only my mother said that this isn't bad, but on the contrary, it's a matter of pride. A woman's curves are very beautiful, she told me, but I didn't think so. A year later, when teenagers reached the peak of the hormonal jump, the guys began to get handsy. They could not pass by me just like that. They always tried to touch or pinch me. Then there were rumors that I had some kind of augmentation surgery, but that's nonsense. Allegedly, they wanted to make sure that it was natural, but no one ever asked me how I felt about it. It was hard carrying a load from behind. After a while, varicose veins appeared on my legs and my mother and I had to treat them. And then I met a guy on the internet. His name was Clay. I didn't post a photo below the waist, and he liked me. He came to my city two months later, moved with his family, and came to my school. When I first met him in the hallway, he was so happy, but then he saw my whole body. He slowed down and then said hello, and he couldn't take his eyes off my lower body. Everyone noticed this and started laughing. I couldn't stand it and ran home. I asked my mother to transfer me to another school, but she wouldn't even listen. After all, it was the best school in the city. Then I asked for a reduction operation but my mother was against me going under the knife. A day later, Clay came up to me again. He apologized 100 times and then offered to take a walk with me. At first, I didn't want to, but he talked me into it. During the walk, I learned that Clay is an amateur photographer. He invited me to participate in a photo session, and before I declined, he showed me some pictures of his work. They were not just normal girls. Some were full, some didn't have a leg, an arm, but they looked just amazing in the pictures. I take these photos so they can see themselves from the outside and understand how beautiful they really are. Just like you. You are more beautiful than any girl I know, and I want you to see it, he told me. And I agreed. 
we had a photo shoot out in nature. At first I was embarrassed, but then I relaxed and it gave me confidence. The very next day, the pictures were displayed on his page on social networks. Clay has about a million followers and they were all crazy about my photos. I woke up that day as a celebrity. At school, I was already perceived differently, treated with respect, and from that moment on, I never heard any mockery against me. A few photos changed my life so much. Clay let me know that I was beautiful, much more beautiful than anyone who had ever slandered me. I finally realized this and accepted myself. I was no longer shy about wearing pants. I was no longer shy about my body. I was even proud of it. So, a lot depends on our own perception. And if you doubt yourself, just look from the outside and love yourself. Then the people around you will never dare to offend you again, because you will start to respect and appreciate yourself.